about the aftercare of your eye and care hair extensions. Um, obviously with them being real hair, um, they need the aftercare like your hair would. Um, with them being no longer attached to the scalp, obviously they're not receiving the nutrients um, and essential oils that they need to stop them becoming dry. Um, so we need to look after them like you would your own hair. Um, so I have some products from Iron Care. They have their own Iron Care shampoo and we have the Iron Care conditioner. Um, okay, so a lot of high street um, shampoos actually contain a lot more salt um, and because obviously, like I said, they're not attached to the scalp, um, they're going to become dry very easily. So the amount of salt in high street products will damage them and cause them to become dry. So I recommend that you use the Iron Care um, con shampoo and conditioner. Um, it's actually specifically made for hair extensions. Okay, so it doesn't have the high salt content I mentioned. Um, okay, so when you're washing them, so I've just I've, I've wet these, um, and it is important that you make sure you run them under the tap in the same direction um, that they that they 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 go. So obviously, if you run them, try not to lay them down. Um, they just get tangled a lot easily easier than hair, normal hair would so do be careful and just run them under the tap that way. Um, it is very important as well to use warm water don't please don't use boiling hot water um, just because they're very you know they're delicate so just warm water is fine. Okay so when you're using the shampoo you're going to take a small bit under your hand And instead, like normally when you wash your own hair with shampoo, you would sort of scrub your hair. Um, we're not going to do that with these. We're just going to run, run them, run them through the hair, sort of like as if you were conditioner. That smells lovely. And you're just running it through. all the way through so just try and make sure it's nice and even and all the way to the ends that's great okay so then you're going to rinse that out okay so I've rinsed out the shampoo from the extension so the next step is the conditioner so it's exactly the same as what we did with the shampoo small dollop on the hand there and rubbing it through with your hands making sure it's nice and even um, so you can leave in the conditioner for two to three minutes um, it says on the bottle so that will obviously just put in the extra moisture um, that the hair extensions need so make sure that it's nice and even leave for two to three minutes and rinse like you did with the before with the shampoo so here's some that I've done um, so this has been shampooed and conditioned. Um, next step is to towel dry it. Now make sure that you do pat, pat dry the extensions and not rub them so you, you're going to cause tangles. Um, once that's done, we use the special hair extension loop brush. Um, the bristles are actually a lot softer um, so than a normal brush, so it's a lot more delicate on the hair. When brushing it, do make sure you start at the bottom section and go down, next section go down, next and next and all the way down. So I've done that and then you're ready to run the brush through it. Okay, That just again stops tangles and also stops you pulling on the bonds as well. So once you've done the, the brush and pat dried we have the leave-in anti-static spray. Um, this is extra moisture and um, so it's a leave-in spray and it adds extra moisture um, and it also gives extra shine and stops um, stops de the tangling sort of thing so um, we just need to shake that and just evenly on there do it on the towel as well um, and then I'll use the brush just because the brush will actually even out the spray the leave-in spray. Okay, so now when it comes to drying them, do make sure that when you, if you're using a hair dryer, to use a low heat again, like we did with the water, um, just for protection with it. 
I would maybe let them dry naturally as well because that again that's you know it's not no no forced heat on them but obviously you can use your, your hair dryer on a low heat um, don't forget your heat protector spray once they are dry um, and you're coming to styling them if you're using straighteners or curling tongs so your heat protector spray is here and so your hair extensions are now clean moisturized and they're protected and ready to wear.